While campaigning for a third term of the presidency in 1912, Theodore Roosevelt exited a hotel in Milwaukee and took a seat in an open-air car. As a crowd gathered around the vehicle, Roosevelt stood up to wave to them. At that moment, John Schrunk, a local saloon keeper, lunged through the well-wishers and shot T.R. from a distance of less than seven feet. The bullet entered his right breast, was slowed by a folded copy of a speech he was to make later at his eyeglasses case, and lodged in his chest. As the would-be assassin was subdued, Roosevelt assessed the damage, and when he reached under his shirt to feel the wound, his hand came out bloodied. His aides insisted that Roosevelt go immediately to the hospital, but T.R. refused their pleas and demanded that he proceed as planned to give a speech to a crowd of 10,000 people who were waiting to hear him speak. Once he arrived, and even though the right half of his body was turning black, Roosevelt mounted the stage unaided, unbuttoned his shirt front to show the audience the spreading blood stain, and declared, I have just been shot, but it takes more than that to kill a bull moose. Roosevelt then spoke for 90 minutes before finally consenting to be taken to the hospital. The bullet was not removed, and he carried it with him for the rest of his life.